What's going on guys, John Elder here from CourseTherapy.com and in this episode, I wanna talk about the new instructor community that they just launched at Udemy. All right, welcome to the Daily Udemy Income Report, show where I talk about making money on Udemy, walk you through what's working for me, and teach you how to do the same thing. My name is John Elder from CourseTherapy.com and today is Wednesday, February 6, 2019. In today's episode, I wanna talk about the new instructor community that they just launched yesterday, spent the day kind of playing around with it. So we'll take a look at it, see what's there, show you how to navigate it, why it's important and all that good stuff. But before we do that, let's take a look at yesterday's numbers. So yesterday was Tuesday the 5th and we had nine courses sold for $56.58, not terrible. Uh, that came to $6.29 a course, which is quite a bit higher than the average uh, per course normally but uh, we're getting a lot of weird coupon codes and they're not running a particular sale, but maybe they are, it's kind of hard to tell. So we're just gonna sort of keep an eye on that. Refunds to date stayed the same, 13.52. We had nine reviews, we'll take a look at those in just a minute. So month to date, $217.46. Not great for five whole days into the month, but um, you know, it's February. February is generally a slow month. So we'll keep an eye on it and see. Courses sold so far, 40, 33 monthly reviews. Promotional activity stay the same, 1056. We haven't sent out a promo email just yet. We'll do that in the next week or so, probably. Uh, total enrollments, 113,131, and my average rating crept up a little bit to 4.50. So let's take a look very quickly at my Udemy profile page, udemy.com forward slash user forward slash John Elder 3. And we have 46,180 students, 37 courses, and 2,597 reviews. And of course, the big thing we always wanna check is to see where we are with our badges. And as of this morning, we've lost pretty much all the badges. I think we talked about that yesterday. And uh, so, ah, terrible. So taking a look at the reviews very quickly, we had a three and a half star for the sequel course, which used to be the highest rated until about two days ago. Uh, five stars for this one, five stars. I love the way John Elder teaches his courses. He does not feel unnecessary explanation. He just goes straight to the point of the topic you need to learn. Great review, love it, thank you. Four and a half stars, four stars, three and a half stars, not too good. Five stars, relays the bare minimum quickly, which was exactly what I was looking for as someone accustomed to learning quickly without necessarily being given full context and details. Reading source documentation is enough for me should I decide I want more. Bonus points for being a Windows developer using Sublime Text, at least for me. Fantastic, five stars, love it. Oh, another one, five stars. My first course and review on Udemy. Great short course on basics of Django and Python. Working on the course was a lot of fun and I found the instructor very engaging. Definitely learned basics about web development, Django, etc. Awesome, thank you. Uh, great, maybe this is, did we have this one yesterday? I don't know, it popped up a couple hours ago. So those are the reviews, pretty good. Uh, pretty happy with those reviews. Hopefully those will turn around a few things in review land that had been so, slowly sliding down the last few days. So today I wanna to talk about the instructor community that they just launched uh, on Udemy itself yesterday. So normally for the last few years, there's been a Facebook group, like an official Facebook group from Udemy for instructors. I think there's one, there's been another one too called Studio U that helps you like in the mechanics of, of making your site, like what format to use for the videos, questions like that. But the main instructor community was a Facebook group that was very active. I was in it, read the posts every day, but they've decided to get rid of that. Well, they're not getting rid of the old Facebook group. It's still gonna be there. It's just not gonna be supported. It's not gonna be active anymore. Uh, so they're not kicking people out of that. They're just suggesting that everybody should use this new one that's located at community.udemy.com. And here it is, if we reload, you can see, it wants me to log in and I just click the login button. I don't even have to log in because I'm already logged in to Udemy, you know, in the instructor dashboard. And the first time uh, you log in, well, right now they've got this link at the top of every page in the instructor dashboard saying, you know, come check it out. And you can click on that and it'll log you right in. I don't think you have to do anything. The first time you log in, it'll ask you what your username what you want your username to be. And that's the username that shows up on all the, all your posts. And so you can, you can set that if you want. But uh, yeah, here it is. So there's basically two sections at this point. Studio U, which I talked about a second ago, it's sort of more for mechanical things. 
and then published instructor club. You have to be an actual published instructor, meaning you have to have at least one course published on Udemy in order to get into this thing. So if you're a new student or if you're a new instructor and you haven't published anything yet, you could still access Studio U and ask questions about like how to publish your course, you know, how to create thumbnails, how to, you know, what kind of microphone should you use? You can ask all those sorts of questions in there. Uh, if you're already an instructor, you're going to focus more probably on this one. So you can see right away, there's a search function, which is nice because the search on Facebook group wasn't the greatest. And we can see already in just one day, 30, almost 3,600 instructors have signed up and there's been 2,000, over 2,000 discussions already, 182 online right now. So you can see here, down here towards the bottom of this page, this is more of like a uh, the Facebook group itself. It has like the most current posts and things. So you're probably gonna wanna start from here just to get a broad overview of what's going on at the moment. And you can see the instructor leaderboard. One thing about this is it's very gamified. So if you make a post, you get a badge. If you make a bunch of posts, you get a bunch of badges. And so, you know, they keep track of who's who's the most active. And you can see those people here, the most likes, you know, 53 likes. I have like two likes on my posts already. <laughs> so, like, uh, so you can see who's currently online. That's kind of cool. And another thing about this, it's broken into region. So this is the English version. I think there's a French version. There's a, a German version. There's all kinds of different versions. And you can look into that if you're from another country and you want a different language um, for your little group, you can do that. So right off the bat, I'm just going to click on this published instructor club. And you can see it's broken down by topics. So course creation, marketing, course management, and then stories and milestones. And the stories and milestones is where you're going to kind of just hang out and just talk about stuff, right? The rest of these are very specific. So if we click on this, you can see there's 29 posts so far. So published my first course. Glad to be here. There's a lot of people just saying hello, you know, uh, celebrating a thousand students, lessons learned, all kinds of stuff here. Just saying hello, just saying hello. Here's one that I posted. One million students, I love to hear stories. And if you click on this, you can see, here's my post. I love to hear stories of instructors who reached one million students. How long did it take? What did you do to get there? What did you learn along the way? Nobody has replied to this yet. So, uh, you know. So you can also navigate. Well, let's go back. You can navigate at the top to, you can see these breadcrumbs. So if we just want to go back to the Published Instructor Club. And so let's click on Marketing. I'm not sure how a post gets featured. It's probably by the amount of likes. So building your own landing page, Udemy for business subscription. When will the next discount promotion happen? You know, things like that. How can I market my course? Kind of cool. I, I find that this is almost information overload. There's so much stuff here and it's chopped up into so many different categories. It's almost hard to find things. I'm sure it'll get easier as I play with it more, but uh, Interesting. So other things here. So let's head over to the Studio U section. And like I said, this is more for like AV solution, audio video, first time course creation topics, welcome and introductions, and then the same stories and inspiration, sort of general area. So you can see, interesting. Kind of cool. So when you click up here, you can go to your settings. And here's my ID. And if you click on personal information, you can see you can put a signature. So every time you post, it'll put this under your post. And so I, I put a little blurb in this, this sort of horizontal rule line here. And uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, what else? When you click up here, you can see your notifications. So if you post a post and somebody answers the post or replies to the post, a little thing will pop up here saying you have a notification. Uh, you can see here I earned the one day badge because for being active on the first day, I've received this. Somebody liked one of my posts, so I got the like receive badge. I started a discussion, so I got the discussion started badge. I replied, or somebody replied to me, so I got this. You know, it's very gamified, and it's I, I don't know if I like that too much, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, so you can see, I clicked on this welcome to the community. And they, 
the person that posted this said, post a video introducing yourself. So this is my video that I posted. You can add videos straight to your post. They'll upload right up to the website and host it for you, which is kind of cool. Let's check out my video. Hey guys, my name is John Elgar. I do computer programming, and I am super excited to see the new online community. It's live. So I just wanted to say hello from sunny Las Vegas and see you guys inside. So I just threw something up very quickly. Not a lot of people posted with videos. You can see there's five pages of results, but most of them are just, um, well, there's two, but most of them are just text, people typing out stuff. So whatever. So kind of cool. I'm sort of still waiting to see how effective this is going to be. My first view, my first sort of instinct is that this is just too much. I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to create their own little community that they control in a way that you can't on Facebook. And they're breaking things into different categories, which is good. But at the same time, there's so many different little categories and it's, it's kind of hard to keep up with what's the latest thing. And you have to have to check each single category to see what's the latest thing. I don't want to do that. Can I just come to this page and scroll down here? Well, there's only looks like three posts here. There's obviously more than three new posts at the moment. So it's kind of hard. There needs to be a, a screen where it just has a, a fire hose of just everything at once, sort of like the Facebook group where I could just look at it and see um, what's going on. You can see we got this little thing. Somebody just replied to a post that I'm following. Um, I posted this. Interesting. So anyway, I, I'm sort of reserving judgment at this point. Um, you can see I've been on Udemy for 3.5 years. I find February always slow. This guy just posted this, I guess. So anyway, that, oh, and so we got a little notification up here. Click on that. It's, it's that same post we just looked at, I guess. So I don't know. It looks good. It works well. We'll see how effective it is. It needs more of a message board feel, I think, so that we could just see what the latest posts are. Maybe they'll add that in the future. I don't know. But uh, yeah, definitely kind of interesting. So if you are an instructor, I definitely recommend that you log in and join this and start becoming active. Start reading things that people post. Um, and Udemy itself, at least in the Facebook group, they took the people that were the most active on the Facebook group and they made them moderators and they worked with them. They set up offline meetup groups with them and uh, they do marketing with those people. So if you really want to get into this and, and sort of almost work for Udemy, they're not going to pay you, of course, but you know they give out t-shirts and things. Definitely be as active as you can in this community. It can only sort of benefit you and your courses. So that's all for today's report. If you like this episode, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to this channel, and check out CourseTherapy.com for more tips, tricks, and online course awesomeness. Also, if you like this video, comment below. Let me you know, say hello. I uh, love to chat, so that's always fun. My name is John Elder from CourseTherapy.com. We'll see you again tomorrow morning.